Hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, chapter 14, part 12, JavaScript data types, arrays, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the arrays in JavaScript. So, we have learned like that a variable can hold only one value. For example, here we have a variable i and the value assigned to it is 10. And we can assign only one value to a variable i at a time. Suppose if I want to store multiple values to a variable i, it's not possible. So to overcome this problem, JavaScript provides an array. So what is an array? Array is a special type of variable which can store multiple values using the special syntax. And keep in mind, whatever the values you store in the array, it is associated with the numeric index starting with zero. In the sense, whatever the value we store to the array is stored in the particular index. It's stored in the particular index starting with zero. Okay. The following figures to, uh, illustrates how an array stores the uh, values. For example, here we have a value 12 and it is stored in the array with a numeric index zero. In the sense, 12 is stored in the zeroth position and the string allow is stored in the first position and the world is stored in the second position. Similarly, 87, the value number, is stored in the 8th position. Okay, if I want to access this value 87, then I can access that value with the help of this index. So, this is how the array stores the values. Now, let me jump into the next slide. An array. An array in JavaScript can be defined and initialized in two ways. Okay, the first way is array literal and the second way is array constructor. So, array literal it is a simple array literal syntax is simple and uh, it can it uh, takes a list of values separated by a comma and enclosed in square brackets this is how you can initialize array in one way that is array literal and here is the syntax syntax so where and here comes the array name and within the square brackets okay will specify the values separated by the comma now let us jump into visual studio code and let us create an array in the form of array literal syntax so it's very simple and here is the code snippet like whatever i'm going to code right now in visual studio code this is what the code present here like we have uh, five arrays okay and each having different values like one is having the string this is number and float numbers and boolean values and the mixture okay now it's very simple now let me jump into visual studio code and let me show you how to create an array in array literal syntax manner so where and let me follow the syntax syntax is array name array name let me take it as string array okay and square brackets end up with the semicolon and here i have to store the values i'll store it as sam comma ram and john g o h n so here we have a array array name is string array now i'm having three values in it sam ram and john and the first value is stored in the zeroth index and this is stored in the first index and john is stored in the second index okay the size of this array is three okay and as i said you earlier in the presentation okay every value is associated with a numeric index starting with zero suppose if i want to access the value uh, if i want to access john then how can i access it's very simple we can access that value with the array name okay okay then followed by the square brackets then i have to specify the index of this john so arrays always start with the zero based index zero one and two i need to specify the index as two if i need to check the value if i need to get the value john okay now what i'll do is i'll just pass it to the alert it will push that john in the alert window pop-up window so let me align it properly Control S. Now, I want to push this page to the browser to see the output. So I'll navigate where I've stored it. It's very simple. It's in the F drive. So uh, I'm st I've stored it here. When I double click on that, you can observe. We will get the output as John. 
okay suppose if I want to get the value RAM then I have to specify the index of it 0 and 1 control s let me go back and let me refresh we'll get the output as RAM now if I want to get all the values at a single shot or at a single time then I can make use of for loop so for uh, I want to define a variable to iterate so 0 then i greater than i less than sorry what is the length of this string array is 3 okay then increment it until the condition fails then I want to I want to print it on the web page so I'll make use of document dot write that string array of i so control s now when I do when I refresh the browser I'll get all the values Sam, Ram and John but they are coming in the same line I want to push to next line what I need to do is I need to add a break line it's very simple um, your and your need to specify the break line tag now when I go back and when I refresh you can observe we're getting Sam, Ram and John in different lines new lines so this is how this is what we learned like how to create an array okay with the form of in the way of array literal okay and this is the example and we also saw a beautiful demo of it okay and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer our websites we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day